How many Democrats does it take to change a light bulb? None. They prefer to stay in the dark. The candidates for the election of the United States of America on the 3rd of November, it's not Joe Biden and it's not just Donald Trump. It's socialism and capitalism. Leaders come and go, right? If socialism comes, then freedom does go. Uh, you know, right now, Americans, you're free to vote. Do vote and vote for the right, which means you have to vote Republican. You're not voting for the jockey, you're voting for the horse. The jockey certainly has direction on the horse, but in this race, you have one horse that's going to the right. It's on track, the race track. It is a horse race. You have one going to the left and Biden is on that horse. Can you picture that? And, and he's off track and he's got a whole bunch of goons with him and they want to change the country. Look at other countries, look at Canada and so many other countries. They've changed jockeys and that jockey has managed because the people have let it happen to take that horse and get off track. You got to stay on track. You have to because socialism is big government, big taxes, tons of red tape and havoc. You know, th that that's socialism. Capitalism is small government, small taxes and huge opportunities and capitalism is freedom. And, and that's important. It, well, it's beyond important as a lifestyle. And, and you need to vote, Americans, still. You need to vote like your lifestyle depends on it because you know what? It does. It truly does. If hypothetically Canadians could vote, how would they vote? Recently there was a poll done. There's two polls. One with that question, how would you vote? And then with another group of people, they said, do you like Trump? It was 85% of people responded saying, we don't like Trump, we hate him. And 85% of people said on the other question that we would vote for Joe Biden. I, I found that interesting because how do you get that same number with two different places? I mean, there's a quarterback playing football. He's the best and he's going to win the game, but I don't like him. So what? I should vote to get him out of his contract and get him off the field? I don't think so. You just kind of hold your nose, hold your breath and let him play, right? Because you, you want your team to win. And again, he's just the jockey and uh, the Trump in this case and Biden. So the Canadians, it concerns me that, that they're that dumbed down or was a question framed in a way that they didn't get it because what they did is they voted for 85% of them said that they would vote for socialism. You like it in Canada, you like what you're getting, 72% of all the money that you pay out or that you earn rather goes to be paid out in taxes, whether it be hidden or otherwise. And it's getting more so all the time because your government is running amok, right? What they can't spend, they give away. And what they don't waste, they give away to somebody else. I mean, um, boy, oh boy, I, I just hope that, that they ask the wrong people the wrong question because they should have a different result than that. This November, November 3rd, to be precise, many millions of American voters will flock to the voting booths and, and uh, they're going to vote for more than 400 congressmen and congresswomen and 35 senators and, of course, the next president of the United States of America, the jockey that's on the horse going to the right. I don't want Trump to babysit my grandchildren, but I want him to ride the horse that I want to be in the race and to win the race. And that would be freedom. And that would be capitalism. Socialism, wow, it, it, it's ugly. It, it's just ugly when you really drill down and they lie. Everything they say is a lie. Just say it. And then they in turn bleh, say that we lie. That's Shakespearean. That's biblical. Here it comes. Those who call others usually are themselves. I want to protect something precious. That's freedom. It needs to be about me and about we, the people. We need to tell the government what to do presently. This is more of Canada. Presently, they tell us what to do. The government takes our money and all of our freedom daily. Uh, man is not free. Women too. And this government is limited. You need a quarterback to carry the message. Canada, hey, there isn't a quarterback. Many of these politicians in Canada, the Conservatives now specifically, they don't even know what game they're in. They better get bloody with it. Just saying. To end today on a lighter note, this happened in England. Um, a man walked into a uh, Circle K store. It says England. I didn't know there were Circle Ks in England. I kind of don't think there are. I bet it's Kentucky or someplace. But hey, just go on what I see. And he says, I won't change. He put a $20 bill down and the woman opened the till. As soon as the till got open, he pulled out a gun and he said, aha, gotcha. Give me all the money that's in your till. She did. He grabbed the money and he fled. Here's what happened though. Here's the rub. When he left, when he got home, he counted $15. What he got out of the till. He left his 20 on the till. Was a crime committed? The police were baffled. They came and said, well, he did have a gun. I wonder if he has a license. He pulled the gun out. He took all your money. 
but he gave you a tip. He left 20 and took 15. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Blah. Well, the stupid thief file, we can put it there. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. See ya.